Good Monday morning, ladies and gentlemen. What a fantastic Monday morning uh, it is. Bought 4,000 shares of Microsoft uh, on Friday at about $203, and now Microsoft is currently trading at $214. Uh, bucks. That trade's currently up $36,000. Uh, so pretty good uh, Monday morning. Going to hold on to that uh, a little bit more. Uh, obviously, if you've been uh, paying attention or if you have teenagers or not even teenagers, kids younger than that, like my daughter Keely, uh, Microsoft is in talks uh, with TikTok. Looks like they were going to get clipped over the weekend by the president. Uh, and he gave him a little bit of reprieve after talking to uh, Sache Nadella. Sounds like a nice exotic dish. It's not. It's the CEO of Microsoft uh, who was in kind of secret talks with ByteDance to, uh, to uh, acquire. So Microsoft has 30, no, 45 days to complete an acquisition and figure out all the details. So it was on death row and the president gave it a little bit uh, of a reprieve. I love stupid people, man. I really do. Uh, all these people who are going ape shit over, oh, Trump's a free market guy or this, and he's going to ban an app. The app was literally made by the Chinese People's Liberation Army, folks. General Joseph Dumford, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs a couple years ago, uh, years ago testified under oath, uh, and he's a four-star Marine general. You don't have to put a four-star Marine general under oath, but under penalty of perjury, this man testified that Google was actively is actively working for the People's Liberation Army, Google. This was right around the time Google took down their corporate slogan, off the wall that says, do no evil. And also around the time that they bailed out of the Pentagon Jedi uh, contract, the cloud contract. Why? According to Google, the Pentagon is not aligned with uh, uh, Google's corporate values. Go figure. So you're going to download a Chinese app and put it on your phone. It's literally a national security risk. If you don't understand that, you're an idiot and you're stupid, and you deserve all the hacking, and you deserve everything bad that's going to happen to you. So a little bit of a reprieve off of uh, death row here uh, for, uh, for TikTok. I think it's fantastic. Uh, according to the Wall Street Journal, this would make essentially my... Because think about this. My kids, Matthew might be the only one that's got a Facebook account. Jack and Keely laugh at it like Facebook's for old people. They're even getting tired of Instagram. The hottest thing right now is clearly TikTok and Microsoft getting all these eyeballs. Massive opportunity. We bought some calls. We bought the August 220 calls in, uh, in Microsoft uh, about two weeks ago. And those are uh, up uh, a couple thousand dollars right now, too. So really uh, happy with our, uh, our trades here. Um, How's Amazon? Amazon is looking down a little bit, uh, but a good week, very good week ahead. Uh, we're going to be do. I think we're going to be starting our full throttle training. Let me look at my old paper calendar here. Still got to use that. Like uh, August 11th. So if you want to learn how to trade options, folks, every Tuesday and Thursday night, 7 p.m. Bottle of wine. I'm going to sit here uh, for about an hour, hour and a half for eight sessions, going from all the way. This is a call. This is the put. This is a the market all the way up to advanced tactics. So make sure you you keep an eye on your um, email box. This is fantastic. This has been, uh, again, I am very thankful. So much gratitude uh, to, uh, to, to the divine, to God, whoever's out there. Uh, and uh, I, I get it. Uh, and to, to whom much is given, much is required, right? So another reason I started a foundation was uh, to put the ladder down, to really help uh, better, struggling veterans out and, and those that are close to... Uh, to not, uh, to not staying around much longer because this COVID crash has been one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And it's sad to say that, but it's the truth. While it's been the worst thing that's ever happened to other people. I've been on the receiving end of a shit sandwich, folks. And I put a big old thing of Tabasco on it and ate it uh, after 9-11. Losing my airline job in the blink of an eye, being furloughed, having to work five jobs. It sucked. Uh, but uh, at those lows, man, I figured uh, I could power through anything and uh, and, and kind of and kind of did. So I'm going to try my best to put the ladder down. I really got to talk about this uh, this piece of shit. What's his name? Duma, Duma, dumbass, Matt Duma, whoever, whatever team he plays with. He doesn't play with the Flyers because uh, they would have thrown him off the team uh, by now, hopefully. But this guy, so NBA, I, I could care less about. LeBron James is a Chinese bootlicker. You know, has no problems with uh, criticizing our democracy and everything like that. And uh, he essentially kisses China's ass. Uh, all these product, Nike made with slave labor, Apple phones made with slave labor in China. 
Um, uh, and you want to talk about real internment camps? Talk about the Uyghurs, uh, millions of ethnic uh, Muslims being thrown into literally prison camps. But NBA really doesn't want to talk about that. But this NHL guy takes a knee. Say He's Canadian. He's from Regina. Funny story about Regina. Uh, when I was doing business consulting, I flew up to uh, uh, Regina four or five times to work with Monsanto, big fertilizer chemical uh, company. And I, it, it cracked me up. Uh, I was calling it Regina. And when I called to make Air Canada, WestJet, whoever I flew on, whatever Canadian Canuck airline. And I remember calling reservations. I'm like, hey, I'm flying you know, South Florida up to Regina. And, and the lady's like, it's called Regina. And, you know, had to really accentuate. I, it just, it, it was funny to me. It was really cold in Regina. Uh, had to warm it up. Whatever. I uh, hung out with a bunch of fighter pilots up there, and the uh, the humor clearly worked with a bunch of sophomore fighter pilots. Let me get back to this guy. He's from Canada. Takes a knee the other day, right? Takes a knee for our national anthem and stands for the Canadian anthem. Beat it, jackass. Let it, don't, so on Thursday, ladies and gentlemen, Thursday, an AAV, a marine amphibious vehicle, off of Southern California, departed the ship. You ever see these things? They, they, I don't get it, man. I don't even get how an aircraft carrier floats. I was a political science major, but this, these tanks, these amphibious vehicles going to the water, and, and I've, I've watched it, and I've kind of like, you hold your breath like, holy crap, okay, it's floating. This one didn't. It sank to the bottom of the Pacific. Seven Marines and a sailor drowned. Horrific deaths. Do you see anybody in the NBA, the MLB, or the NHL take a knee for those men who died? Marines and a sailor. Never to be seen again. There's going to be a lot of kneeling at their funerals. Not a mention. Barely in the media. Right? I tell people about it. They're like, oh my God, I didn't know that happened. But this jackwad in the NHL and the pieces of shit in the NBA... And the overweight dudes with a lot of jewelry on who baseball is a sport. Any sport where I fall asleep on the couch, uh, slightly hung over and wake up four hours later, and it's still on, isn't a sport. And they're spitting and they kind of waddle, whatever. My point being uh, is this. They're taking a knee, allegedly. for It's a st- statistical decimal point. The number of African Amer- unarmed African Americans killed by a police, white police officer. Two. What happened when George Floyd was murdered? The man was murdered. This entire country, 99.9% of this country was united for once. We had it. The Democrats, the media, Black Lives Matter stole it from us. Nobody sat there and said, well, that's fantastic, that guy died. Nobody, if they did, of course, 0.001% of America probably did, and they're a disgrace. They'll, they'll pay eventually, folks. But we had it. And then the liberals, the Democrats, the black line said, oh my God, this is all for not. No, we are. No, we're not. And started pulling us apart. Riots. Kid, pasty white kids from their basement came out. Right? I saw videos of, uh, you know, the, what was that, that Wendy's in Atlanta weeks ago getting lit on fire. And they, there these African American uh, people were filming it. They're like, this is not us. We're not even doing this. Folks, at this point, so uh, let, let, let's be respectful truth over artificial harmony. George Floyd, the man was a convicted felon multiple times over. <laughs> Assault, armed robbery. He stuck a gun in a pregnant woman's belly. Passing a counterfeit $20 bill, the, the, the sentence isn't death. That's absolutely horrific. And you know what? We have a system that takes care of that. Those cops were arrested. That cop was arrested. They will have their day in court. That's how it's supposed to work, or we're going tombstone on this shit, and I'll be Doc Holliday. We either let this stuff work, or we don't. And if you're one of those cities that doesn't want it, let's... Uh, I, Let's wall off Portland, Seattle, New York, all these liberal cities that want to defund the police and everything like that. Trump, do not send more federal police in. Pull them out. 
It's time to be that parent that goes, don't climb on that ledge, you're going to fall. Climbs on the ledge. Don't call, and they fall and they get hurt. You stand there as a parent and go, I told you that was going to happen. It's time for I told you that was going to happen. Leave these cities alone. Let them implode under the weight of their own stupidity. And I am not spending one dollar of these massive Microsoft profits to send to Minneapolis to rebuild their city. It's your fault. Okay? But this George Floyd protest and this taking a knee, ladies and gentlemen, the man was, he did not deserve to die. Especially the way he, nobody deserved. I mean, my God, man. I get it. But you blew it. Democrats, liberals, Black Lives Matter, and the NHL, the NBA, and the NFL. I want the NFL to start, folks. I want them to play that, the, the, the black national anthem before ours. Nothing says equality like singling out a race. I'm sick of it. If you have to put a color in front of the words, lives matter, you're the racist, and you're the one that has a problem with this country. Okay? Okay. If you take a knee for George Floyd and you didn't even know that seven Marines and a sailor drowned a horrific death going to the bottom of the Pacific, you're the problem. Wake up. We were united. We had the opportunity to do something about that 0.01% police issue. But uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, as a veteran who is in touch with a lot of veterans, we're, we're, it's getting old Get your shit together or we'll do it for you, okay? And, uh, and, 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 and we will. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of it, man. So, okay. Uh, Going to be a good day. Uh, on that note, uh, Microsoft, holy crap, that's $40,000. Microsoft is up to two fifteen. dollars So I'm going to close these 4,000 shares. Uh, nice $40,000 profit since I uh, bought the shares Friday morning. Okay, have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. Uh, make sure you stay in the loop if you want to learn how to trade options, folks, because this is a target-rich environment. Don't forget, I use the acronym DRINK, D-R-I-N-C. Democrats, Russia, Iran, North Korea, China. Between now and the election, we're getting an October surprise uh, out of either one or all of them together, or we're getting a vaccine. It's a race between the two. Okay, have a great week, and I'll uh, talk to you later.